Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video we're going to be going back to Hazard County and I'll show you how to make Cooter's tow truck out of this old Matchbox Dodge wreck truck. Cooter did have about four trucks I think over the course of the series. Ertl produced one of them to go with their series, I believe it was the brown one. And this is actually quite tricky to find, it's been tricky for me to find, I haven't found one yet. So another one of his trucks was a red, white and blue one, and that's the one we're going to be making today. Let's take a closer look at our wreck truck off of the turntable. These were produced from 1965 until 1970. See this one is in a classically beat up shape, it's missing a lot of paint and a stickers there. The windscreen is broken and missing, I think that usually happens because the light on the top gets pressed down or trodden on and broken first of all. And a lot of them are missing the whole toe set up at the back there so it's lucky this one's at least got that. So let's start taking it apart, there's two posts to drill out. And then it pops apart. There's only a couple of parts to it, really. Next, I use a burr on my rotary tool to remove the wheels and axles. Just have to grind off those mushroomed over ends of the axles there. And I'm just going to remove this old broken hook here. And with all that taken apart, I can use some poly stripper to remove the paint from the castings. Here's the cab after paint stripping. You can see the boom there is a little bit bent. Or at least I believe it's a little bit bent. All the reference images I've found, it looks straighter than this. So I'm just going to give it a go at straightening it up a little bit. Once I was reasonably happy with my straightening, I gave it a bit more of a clean up with files and some sandpaper. Both of the castings were then given a good clean with the wire brush on my rotary tool to get rid of any oxidation and remaining paint. And there's also one of these little sticky up bits here on the tow system is missing so rather than try to make a new one I'm just going to break the other side off there and I'll file it all nice and flat and I've made a little replacement part here here it is glued into place with a couple of little notches cut into it I'm also going to replace the missing hook with this little sort of bearing that I've made out of a piece of aluminium tubing. To get this in here I'm just going to have to carefully bend out the ends of the boom. I'm being really careful not to overstress them and break them. And once I have it in place, I just press them shut again. The 
I'm now going to add just a little bit more detail with some wire rope here. So I've cut out a little length of my wire here and bent it into shape. It's a bit hard to hold in place. And here it is after I've glued it in position. Last thing before painting, I'm just going to cut out a little piece of clear styrene for a windscreen. Just to make sure that fits well and then I'll put that aside for later. Now on to painting it. I'll start by just masking off the rear there roughly and then I paint the cab white. Next I mask off the top and the front of the cab and I'll paint the rest of it blue. And here it is with all the masking removed. The next step was to mask off the cab of the truck. And then the tow system was painted black. Here it is with the masking removed again. There was a little bit of overspray on the doors there. I should have masked it a bit better, but that's all right, I'll patch that up. Here are some little decals for Hazard County Garage that I've printed. I'll just have to cut them out and then I can apply them to the doors. I've also done a little bit of detailing with silver. I've done the grills and the lights and those badges on the sides. So this was all finished with a nice gloss varnish. And once this was nice and dried, I moved on to the interior. First of all, I'm gonna put in this windscreen, just applying a tiny amount of black Starbond glue here. And now I can put my windscreen in place and I'll just hold it in there for a few seconds until the glue has set. And here it is after it's been glued in. See I've added just a tiny bit of glue down the bottom as well. Now I've cut myself an interior out of another old Ah, I don't know what it was. I've also harvested a light from another old broken truck. It was actually orange, so I had to paint it over with some clear red. So this was put in place up the top, and then I could glue my interior in. So there we go, there's the cab all finished. Now onto the base. I just started by undercoating this with some black paint and then I painted it red and I detailed the rear lights there and then it gave it a coat of clear. So his truck also had a big meaty sort of bumper on it. So I've made a bumper here. It's not exactly the same, but it's the same general idea. And here it is after painting with black and white. And the wheels here are the old original style thin matchbox ones. I'm going to replace them with these later model ones. They're still matchbox. 
the back ones are going to fit fine but the front ones are going to be way too wide so I'm going to take a leaf from some of my commenters books and chop this wheel in half I start with a cutting disc on my rotary tool and I'll chop most of the way through I'm just doing it slowly bit by bit so it doesn't get too hot and melt the plastic And then once I've cut all the way around, I finish it off with my craft knife. So there it is cut in half. I'll just pull all these little flaky bits off of the outside. And here it is, our nice thin wheel that should fit. Another thing about these wheels is that the holes in them are too small to fit this axle rod that I've got here. So I'm just going to have to drill those out a little bit bigger as well. There we go, that's fitting much better. So here are all the parts of our Matchbox Dodge Wreck truck. Repainted, refurbished and ready to go back together as Cooter's tow truck. One last little thing I did was made a little hook for the back of the tow boom. This was painted black and attached in place. So just before we take a look at our finished truck, let's take a moment to look back and be reminded of what we started with. A proper die-cast disaster of a Dodge tow truck from the 60s. It's missing half its paint. It's missing its windscreen and light on the top. It's got a bent boom arm and a broken hook. But I think with a little bit of work, we can make it into a really cool piece of TV memorabilia. And here it is, our custom Cooters tow truck from the Dukes of Hazard, Made out of an old Matchbox Dodge wreck truck from the 60s. I'm really happy with how this came out. I think it looks really cool and it'll be a great addition to my little Dukes of Hazard collection, which is slowly growing. And I'm sure plenty of people have got beat up old Dodge wreck trucks in their collections. So it might be a cool little project for you to try as well. You can let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this, remember to check out my other Dukes of Hazard builds. There's the General Lee and Boss Hogs Cadillac. I'll leave some links for those in the description down below, along with some other cool movie and TV car builds. A big welcome now to all my new subscribers. And a huge thanks to everyone for the great comments and likes on my videos. Extra special thanks to my awesome Patreon supporters who help to support the channel through Patreon. If you'd like to join them and help me keep making videos like this for you guys, you can check out my Patreon page. There's a link in the description below. You'll also find a link there to get 10% off Starbond glue with the code DANNY10. So thanks heaps for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to like, share and subscribe.